are you, yeah, at, definitely. Are you at a hotel or? Oh no, I'm like <laughs> at therapy. Oh, cool. Well, um, have they have they got good internet? <laughs> Yeah, they have, and we have like free time for a few hours now, so I just stay here. So. Me? Continue with my further business for today, yeah. Sure, sure. Well, uh, well, we will give you a moment uh, to to get into the game, no worries. Uh, let me, let me finish writing a handout anyway. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. And I mean, I can hear you guys for now. I... It's true. Hear I me mean, rolling this critical hit against you. Okay. No, I'm good. <laughs> oh, there you are. Please don't. Uh, were no. we out of combat? I'm no, pretty sure we were. Yeah. Promises. <laughs> we're, we're, we're out, out of combat right now. Yeah. No, actually, no. I, I say, I say, I say, no promises. But uh, I'm, I'm, I'm hoping. But we'll see. I don't, I don't want to, I don't want to recklessly promise that no one will die today. Uh, but uh, we'll we'll see we'll see. Uh, how how are you feeling, Henry? How how you doing, man? It is kind of uh, got better, but I it got slowed somehow <laughs> and numb. Oh. I don't think it will go away anytime soon. Sure. Well, I mean, um. Uh, to be clear, I, I wasn't a asking it to cause it to go away. I mean, I hope it does for for your sake. But um, yeah, is 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 none better? <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> mm. uh, have you have you been to the doctors about it? Yeah. Good. Yeah. Uh, you you know I I I I know it seems obvious, but uh, so sometimes. Genuinely, in the past, I, I've I've asked that question uh, to people before, and they've been like, "No," and I've been like, Ooh. "Blinks, please, please do, <laughs> please do go to the doctors." Yeah. <laughs> um, so, uh, I'm I'm glad you have. Um, Uh, well, I'm I'm glad you guys are all here. Uh, obviously, uh, uh, to people watching and also to, to you guys as well, if you haven't seen, um, Ken isn't going to be joining us today uh, because his uh, <laughs> his uh, baby is on the way, um, which is uh, and 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 it was his birthday, but but I think it's it's his baby. <laughs> Uh, so, uh, Ken, Ken, when you watch this back later, congratulations, my friend. Um, yeah, seriously. Hope everything goes well. Um, also, uh, <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll see. It, it might be the three of us for a bit, because, you know, babies. And <laughs> fatherhood, you know, yeah, fatherhood, logistics. It, it's a, it's a thing. It's, it's definitely a, 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 a very, um, all-encompassing thing. So, uh, we, we'll see, we'll see. But uh, hopefully, hopefully, Ken will be back at some point. Likewise, uh, hopefully, and Phil. Uh, I don't know if you, if you're you're even going to get to watch this if you're in the outback. Um, but hopefully Phil will back, be back to join us at some point as well uh, towards the end of August. He has the internet. I, well, that's that's the thing. He 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 may not even have the internet out there. Um, uh, I haven't seen him. I haven't actually seen him online <laughs> since since he since he went. And he was saying he didn't. So I, I think it's quite possible he is in an area of the outback that just just doesn't have anything aside from. I don't know. Uh, Panda, do you get scorpions over there? I hear you get scorpions over there. Oh no. Can you guys hear me? Yeah, I hear you. Oh, weird. Okay. Um, just choosing to stay silent on, this, on the topic of scorpions then, huh? Yep. 
Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, uh, they're, they're, they're not fun. They're not fun. Um, you know where it doesn't have scorpions? Oldest Gate. Oldest Gate doesn't have scorpions. <laughs> they have worse. They have fucking worse. They, they definitely have worse, but, but they don't have scorpions unless someone summons them. It's not the right climate, so... Uh, very, very unlikely to encounter giant scorpions, unless I add them specifically. <laughs> it's a scorpion. We, Fuck you. We plant a tree, or a bean, so to speak. True. Um, so, but yeah. So, guys, go ahead. Are we getting out of here? Like. Well, yeah. So. <laughs> Um, where, we, where where we left this game last time, uh, you guys had uh, ventured even further into the dungeon of the Dead Three. Uh, you'd braved more murky crypts, dealt with reapers of Baal uh, and more fists of Bane. Um, you'd encountered a, a strange scene indeed between a death's head of Baal, a being known as Vaz, and... <laughs> me sneezing, no. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> and uh, Mortlock Van Thamper, a seeming duel uh, that was going... Badly, uh, for the latter individual. Uh, you guys, your intervention uh, caused Vaz to break off. Um, and uh, uh, retreat isn't quite the right word. Reposition themselves um, and attempt to activate, basically, a self-destruct switch. Um, Mortlock... Uh, whilst surprised to see you all here rather than people maybe that he was expecting uh, informed you of said self-destruct switch and what Vaz intended to do um, and didn't you know fight you uh, so you guys pursued uh, the death's head Baal to start off with um, and engaged in a nearly deadly combat for several of you um, speaking of which Alros how Ross is stable currently, <laughs> but, but he's Which is good. He's he's down, but he's stable. Um, uh, but a, but a, a, a nearly deadly combat uh, for some of you, uh, involving rats, magic statues, and uh, an almost unstoppable killer uh, that you killed. <laughs> In the process of doing so, though, um, there were some uh, sort of, well, it sounded like there were some sort of gas explosions um, uh, elsewhere uh, in the in the sewers, perhaps. Um, you managed to stop him from bringing the whole place down on your heads, which is, you know, good. Um, but also in the process, Mortlock Van Thamper picked up about half of the treasure um, that the... Uh, uh, the cultists were keeping down here, and uh, fucked off <laughs> because he he saw an opportunity, I guess, and he took it. Um, he fucked off at such a speed uh, that's made it very difficult to pursue him, particularly uh, in your current state, or at least in some of some of your current state. Although Vincent was. Uh, rapidly moving down this sort of waterlogged tunnel uh to in the hopes of like seeing any sign of him um but yeah so uh that's that's pretty much where we left it so cu currently loki i think you're carrying alros right i hope i hope he's not just in the in the stagnant water of this chamber That's you, there? you That's you, Panda. Hello? Can you hear me? You there? Yeah, I can hear We, we, we are. I, I am here. Did I, did I cut off? No, no. I, was, I said something I must not have gone through. 
It, it didn't, yeah. no, which is concerning. My ping is a bit I just high, said that, right? yes, he's on my back. <laughs> okay. Um, hmm. Has anybody else said anything that I've missed? Nope. Okay, well. It wouldn't be D&D &D without... Well, it wouldn't be D&D &D <laughs> without tech problems, that's for sure. That's <laughs> um... So yeah, so he, he he's on your back at the moment. Um, uh, Elizabeth, likewise, uh, I believe, is looking pretty beat up. Uh, so, yep, barely uh, walking. Uh, so yeah, with with regards to leaving and so forth, the good news is, um, uh, for the Ashen probably points out is, uh, it uh, it looks like he didn't take all the treasure at least. Point, pointing, uh, pointing yeah. up here. Well, definitely. At least there's Could something on this. Yep. Didn't get thrown through dimensions for nothing. <laughs> Ashen uh, looks at you yeah. again, uh, sort of f fascinated, <laughs> but uh, uh, sh shaking his head, sort of steps to the side and says, uh, "Well, how about it, uh, Vincent? Did you see anything?" Yet. Do you think he got away? Maybe he will not if we chase him right away. Mm, I'm not in the mood for chasing. I'm pretty sure we all find people that know where he is. Eh. We still get something out of it. Let's, Maybe we should uh, yeah. help your friend here first, or at least rest until he's awake. I don't know when he will awake. Maybe give him some time to rest. I can't hold this form for very long. Mm. Let's just grab the box and priest. To get the hell out of here. Yep, I'm all for that too. I mean, the way back out should be clear. So, so where is the chest? Yeah, yeah. so uh, in this chamber ahead of you, hold on, uh, you guys uh, can see uh, two remaining padlocked wooden chests. Um, they are, yeah, they're quite heavily padlocked, uh, the two of them remaining, um, they look quite heavy, um, just sort of on the floor in the center of the chamber. Uh, Ashen, and I th think possibly Elizabeth as well, uh, have, have examined this chamber previously and are reasonably certain that there aren't any traps, uh, in here, and certainly, uh, Mortlock, you know ran in, ran out, uh, and grabbed them, so hopefully uh, you can just, well, do whatever you want to do with them. I'm pretty yeah. sure, yeah. So, yeah. How heavy are they? Uh, it's a good question. What uh, about opening them, opening it? I mean, you can try, but I'm sure they're locked. <laughs> yeah, so the, the, they 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 do have locks on both of them. They are padlocked. Well, I can't. I I don't have sufficient tool. <laughs> Does anyone know how to pick a lock? Maybe the roguish-looking person. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I mean, I can try here. Pretty sure I could do that better when we're outside of this dungeon, but. I can give it a try now, and if not, I can open them for sure at home. Well, it's gonna be heavy to get them out. I would like to try to pick them, maybe with a dagger, because I don't really have uh, thief's tools. Wait, what? Uh, Ashen. Oh, I have thief's tools. Wait, yeah, I have you, them. You had that <laughs> at last session. <laughs> I remember. <laughs> I just read over it. Sorry. That's alright. Um, yeah, I would like to try to open them. Sure. Okay. Um, 
go ahead and give me a, th a couple of uh, Dexterity Thieves tools checks. I'll drop uh, Ken on that uh, landing there out of the water, and then I'll probably revert back to normal form. Okay. Um, so over here? Yeah, out of the water. And then, yeah, you. Uh, the magic shimmers around <laughs> you. Uh, there's a green flash. Suddenly, uh, you are. How tall are you again? Three feet? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so suddenly you are three feet again. It is a certainly a nice upright. Good fun. Uh, okay, so um, you try to pick the first lock, um, uh, but the first chest lock is surprisingly tough. Uh, you try to pick the second lock, and the second lock is surprisingly easy. Uh, maybe they got a cheaper padlock for the second lock. Um, so you've you've picked the lock of the second chest. Uh, Ashen probably uh, watches you do this and says, um, um, Miss Elizabeth. Looking at you questioningly. Um, Perhaps I could help you with the first one? Try, try your luck. That would be very nice. My arms are kind of tired. You not. Moves forward. Uh, uh, tools. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, he 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 can't get it either. Apparently, that the the first padlock uh, you might need to either break open or have another crack at when you know you're not in a noxious, uh, dark, terrible place covered in wounds. Um, it is a padlock, right? Uh, yes, it is a padlock, yes. Tap away, please. <laughs> I and I sent the Ashes. towards the box yeah. and shoot the lock. Okay. Give me an attack roll. Please don't miss fire. Please. <laughs> it's a nine. <laughs> Okay, so uh, what happens is um, at this short range, uh, maybe uh, maybe you didn't put enough powder in. Um, may maybe uh, maybe the whilst the the bullet was fine, um, uh, it sort of ran through the chamber in a in a weird way um, and uh, got warped slightly. Uh, but the uh, the bullet flies through the air, and instead of uh, breaking the padlock like you wanted it to, it, it hits like a particularly hard 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 part of the metal and zings off. Uh, for a moment, there is a bullet zinging around the chamber. So, doo -doo 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 -doo. Um, uh, that causes everybody to duck uh, before it splashes into wa the water approximately one feet from Alros's head. <laughs> Maybe I should get this out from... Yes. Away from any of you. And he grabbed the box and started moving forward. Yeah, that's but a just, dangerous uh, boomstick. Yeah. Now that I am uh, at, at this nuke, can I try out try it again? Uh, you can if you want to. Yep. I'll break I mean. the box. <laughs> okay, uh, so that's a sixteen. Yes. Okay. This time, uh, you do pr you do break part of the chest by doing it this way, um, but because uh, you sort of shoot the padlock through, essentially out, um, so it, it smashes into the chest, and there's a hole in the chest now, essentially. Um, but but this time, your shot destroys the padlock, and it doesn't zing off and, and break. There's now you've now got a padlock with a bullet embedded in it. Not very useful. Now I start looting. Okay. Um, so, uh, well, uh, yeah, I suppose, uh, Elizabeth, are you opening the chest that you unlocked as well? Yeah, definitely. Potato sack ready. <laughs> to put um, everything I find in there. Well, <laughs> organic hessian potato sack is very important. Um, yeah, so, uh, inside of Elizabeth and Ashen's chest, um, there are ten eye agates. Worth about 10 gold each, you think? 
um, scattered amidst approximately 1,250 silver pieces. Um, so a, a whole chest of silver, basically. Um, and uh, together with the chest, they weigh 37 pounds. Uh, without the chest, they weigh 12 pounds. Huh. They laughed at me for buying potato sacks. <laughs> but the potato sacks have, have been surprisingly useful. <laughs> <It's> a, <laughs> like, don't get me wrong, sacks are good, but I've been surprised. It's like torches in Iceland. I've been surprised how actually useful they've ended up being. Um, but yeah, so uh, as you as you sort of like shoveling shoveling that into one of the sacks, uh, Vincent, uh, you open the other chest. Um, uh, this chest holds thousands of copper pieces. Uh, as and when you actually, if if you actually take it away and count it, then there, there are four thousand five hundred copper pieces in here, uh, and also on the top of them, uh, two red crystal vials with gold stoppers. Uh, the vials themselves look like they're worth twenty five gold each, uh, but the vials look like they contain potions of some variety. Um, you you don't instantly recognize them. Uh, you can roll an Arcana check. To try, if you want to, Vincent. I. No. Looks like good booze. <laughs> yeah. So the, I, they're, they're, like they're clearly they're clearly potion sized. Like then then they're, they're not. There isn't very much to drink there. Um, I think there is a description. Is. Uh, it ha so the, the actual potion's liquid itself is orange, it flickers slightly, and uh, when you pick it up, smoke fills the top of the container, uh, like sort of there's like, like the gap between the liquid and the top of the container is filled with this sort of swirling smoke. Mm. I collect them. Okay. What are you doing with the copper pieces? Oh, uh, so uh, with the coins and vial inside, the chest weighs 70 pounds. Um, without the chest, uh, you got 55 pounds worth of weight, of which one pound is the two potions. <laughs> the, uh, <coughs> the copper coins weigh the other 54. It means someone has to be getting encumbered. I, I think that is the right word. I mean, normally, uh, it, as and when, uh, you know, as and when uh, uh, Loki uh, isn't in his uh, giant's might form, normally I think you'd be giving this to Alros. But uh, Alros is a bit, uh, a bit unconscious He's currently. He's the payload <laughs> right now. <laughs> He's the, the payload. <laughs> Damn, you can't talk about people like that. They're, they're, they're more than an Overwatch. Um, <laughs> more than an Overwatch objective. Alros is a person with feelings and emotions. Like David King. And Wade. <laughs> and Wade. <laughs> He's not wrong. Uh, yeah, so speak, speaking of which, uh, he, he, he very much isn't wrong. Al Alros is, uh, is a heavy boy particularly with all of his plate mail. Um, and, uh, well, I don't know. What, what what are your guys' strength scores like? Eight. <laughs> yep. Mm -hmm. Ten. Mm -hmm. Eight. Uh -huh. Oh. <laughs> no, ten, sorry. And what? I'm reasonably certain that Ashens isn't particularly high either. Um, Ashens is also eight. So... You guys, uh, you guys look at each other, and uh, you realize that you're the noodle arm party. <laughs> um, I think genuinely, you will have if you don't wait for Alros at least to become conscious again, you will genuinely have trouble carrying him and the treasure out of the dungeon. Okay, take a break. Let him get but, back up. I mean, does that, does anybody yeah. have any any magical healing at all? Um, let, let me see if Ashen does. Does anybody have any potions left? No. 
I think I'm pretty sure he uh, uh Alros used his. Uh, huh. Oh yeah. <laughs> Uh, Ashen pulls out Ashen's fishing through his pockets like wondering if he has anything he pulls out the beans and he's like I've got the uh puts them back in the bag <laughs> and maybe not maybe not oh he has a slot oh okay huh all right uh but what he does do is smile uh move over uh fish about in his bags again and uh pull out um, what looks like, um, to make a different, uh, MMO reference, uh, or at least a multiplayer game reference, uh, what looks like an injector gun, uh, that the medic from Team Fortress 2 might use, um, grin underneath his hood and say, uh, but I do have this, um, and unless any of you stop him, he's gonna lean down and inject Alros in the neck with it. Oh, I, <laughs> I, I would like to watch the research. <laughs> okay, okay. Logan. Whatever that it might be. I ain't stopping him. <laughs> I just presume they're all gonna help each other. Oh, Ken, what wonderful companions well, I, you have! <laughs> as far as I've seen here, they didn't even care he was unconscious. I dragged him out and I don't even know the guy. Wow. <laughs> uh, yeah, so our, our Ross is going to... Oh, he's got a second level slot as well. Cool. Okay, well, we'll save the second level one. Uh, he's going to use his injector gun uh, as an artificer to cast Cure Wounds. Oh, that was a good... He I should I should roll Ashen's healing um, uh, from now on. Yeah, so he, he, he injects Auros uh, in the neck, and uh, there's a flash of energy uh, of, like... Um, yellow light that sort of uh, rushes across Alros's body, spreading out from where the uh, they've been injected, and Alros jerks upright instantly, like he's been given a shot of adrenaline. Like, huh, huh, huh. ah! Welcome back to the land of the living. Ow. Yeah, can you carry that stuff? <laughs> he. Uh... He rolls his eyes at Elizabeth and says, Maybe one I, once I've got my breath back. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> I don't really have time for emotional... Uh, Anything? Like, talking and stuff. Talking, oh yeah, feeling. Take, take this pouch of copper. <laughs> Chuck 54 pounds of copper coins at him, hits him in the face, and he's like, Ow. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Why? Oh, that's right. Noodle arms. Okay. All right. <laughs> Picks back up with a, a like a long suffering sigh. Like, <sighs> <laughs> uh, let me check his carrying capacity. I'm, uh, okay, so he's got he's got a hundred and fifty pounds of it. Oh, what's he doing? Okay, so he's got he has sixty pounds of weight left. So he can carry, um, he can carry the copper, uh, but he can't carry the silver. Someone else is. I mean, it. I can carry the silver. Okay, cool. Uh, yeah, yeah. So okay, let me. It's like just... eight times fifteen or something, right? Yeah, you you've got twelve pounds of weight there, basically. Um, let me just put four thousand five hundred yeah. copper pieces on his sheet. Oh, jeez. Oh, that puts him up to 180. Is that gonna be okay? There is okay. a bank in Baldur's Gate. Can we just change? <laughs> change I'm the story. Yeah. So I'm 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 reasonably certain there's a bank in the city. Uh, it's it's it is that kind of city that might actually have banks as opposed to some some fantasy yeah, cities. Yeah, in, in which... Faerun. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, they they uh. Yeah, they, they 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 love money enough in Baldur's Gate that uh, if if they didn't have a bank, I'd be surprised. Um, but yeah, so yeah, our our Ross after uh, after a few moments of just sort of getting his bearings back, uh, we'll uh, we'll get up, pick up the pick up the copper coins, and say uh, what uh, what happened after I after I uh, got knocked out. I, I presume we're we're not trapped down here, sealed in by a cave-in, uh, to slowly run out of air. But 
That is right. Oh my god, I don't, sorry, sorry I, don't, I don't know. There we go. <laughs> don't, don't know why I deafened that. I <laughs> must have accidentally pressed the button. Sorry. Um, uh, Aros was saying, uh, Aros gets up, picks up the copper coins, um, shoulders them, and says, uh, what, uh, what happened while I was out? Uh, I presume we're not uh, trapped down here, slowly losing air. To Big explosion. Bad guy died. Dragged you out. And you the Mortlock ran. You yeah. remember it, right? Uh, I saw him running before I went down, yeah. Or oh, heard him. Let's just get out of here before any any of those Curtis come back. Uh, yeah, yeah. And, uh... He, uh, stops so me. I... I expect very few of them will... will do if, if they... They decided to come anyway. He, he nods. Alright. Uh, sort of slings it into his bag and uh, draws his, uh, well, <laughs> draws, goes back into the chamber um, and uh, picks up his, his long sword and shield. Um, and it, when he comes back out there, they're, they're like covered in soot. Uh, he looks unhappy. Uh, come on. <laughs> he has to get like self-cleaning magical yeah. weapons or something. Yeah, clearly. Uh, I was just seeing if Ashen had prestigitation, but he doesn't. Oh uh, yeah, so uh, as you guys are going back round, let me turn that aura off as well, actually. Uh, as you guys are going back round down this tunnel, um, oh, actually, well, I, sh I should say, I suppose, um, before you leave, uh, there are a couple of chambers you haven't checked. Um, nobody went into this one um, that the rats came from. Uh, there was like a corner here as well. And uh, yeah, the, the, the door you just went to, Vincent, on the way back, there was a door uh, that you never opened. I don't know if you want to investigate them before you leave. I mean, I don't, but... I just want to leave this miserable place. Well... Yeah. So where is the exit? Oh, well, there. Well, yeah. I mean, the, the only the only reason I thought you might want to investigate them, I suppose, is to see if there's another exit. I have enough heads. It was two hundred gold per head. I'm good. True. Um. Well, Vincent, you you head up there. Um. So uh, quickly uh, then. Um. Just up there, uh, in that corner, uh, there is a, a crate of torches. Um, there are five torches in it. It looks like it can hold 60, but if you want a torch, there are torches. And then, uh, importantly, Vincent, when you go into that room, um, which you sort of kick the door in of, um, there are nine wooden crates, uh, scattered throughout this room, um, that look like they may well have stolen goods in them. Oh. Goody. I yeah. will check them. Okay, uh, so just uh, sort of uh, opening the boxes, uh, you don't have to unlock them or anything, you just sort of crowbar them open or sword, sword blade them open. Uh, six of the crates are empty, except for packing, sc packing straw. But the other three contain stolen goods that they have not yet dispersed, uh, including uh, 10 days worth of rations, a bag of 20 caltrops, three flasks of alchemist fire, six sets of manacles, Four tinder boxes, nine daggers. So <laughs> you want daggers? There are, there are, yeah, there are nine of them here. Um, and and importantly, and you do recognize this potion, Vincent. There are four potions of healing in glass vials. Yeah, I will take alchemist fire and keltrop and potions. I believe I can carry them or <laughs> <laughs> probably. But yeah, so if anyone else wants anything, uh the stuff you don't take, again, Al Ross will, will sort of <laughs> reluctantly shoulder. Um assuming it's not too heavy. Um but uh yeah, if there's anything you guys want to specifically take from them. Okay. Yep. 
uh, Auros probably suggests uh, uh, you four should split the potions of healing between you. Ashen waves a hand and says, you, you three, you three. I hold out my hand to Vincent without saying anything. Uh, like, give me a potion. You're here. Anyone need potions? I have two. Hold on to them for now, I think. <laughs> yeah. Don't you need any of this? Well, if I get into a fight, I'm more than likely going to go down because I'm in the midst of it. So, more than likely, it's going to have to be poured into my mouth. Better if it's not on my person. Oh, you're lazy that way, I see. <laughs> well, you know. A giant trying to take a health potion, not that easy. Mm. <laughs> like a shot. I'll rush shrugs and then says, uh, well, uh, I'll take one then. And, uh, sure he's out. Okay. Oh no, apparently he has a slot as well. Um, he, uh, looks over at Elizabeth and says, uh, you might want to drink one of those. Oh, yes, definitely. Um, it's 1d4 plus 4, right? Uh, 2d4 plus 2. Oh. Okay. Yeah, don't roll snake eyes. Hey, double threes. That's good. Yeah, so you heal 8. Yeah, I feel definitely way better. I really needed that thing. So it was a nice chaser, you know. A good pick me up. Um. Yeah, <laughs> yeah so. Uh, other than that, though, like I say, five torches and that stuff, there's nothing else up there particularly interesting. Uh, literally, I think, the only other place you... Oh, no, the te no, there's technically that corridor that you guys never went down that the rat was in originally. But you, again, you don't... And, and I suppose the zombie chamber. Uh, you don't have to go in those if you don't want to, but um, there is a door, uh, and you don't have to go in this place either. Uh, but on the way back, uh, there is a door that you guys never went through. Yeah. I mean, I'm not going in the zombie chamber. Pretty <laughs> sure I'm not going in there. No? I am not still a... for letting that door. Just, Leaving it. Can we just get out? Absolutely. Yes. You absolutely can if you want to. I just have to tell you that the doors are there. I miss sun. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, definitely me too. I, it's so I... cold and wet down here. I just check the door, like, see if it's locked. Yeah, of course you can. Um, says the GM. <laughs> uh, so, uh, uh, the door is not locked, but it is, f uh, like, there's water under the door, so it's probably another flooded room, um, but no, it is not locked. And I'll double check that it's not trapped, just in case. Sure. Investigations or perceptions from anybody checking that it's not trapped? Nick. Looks like a flooded, rotted door to you. I'll slowly creak it open. <laughs> okay. Everyone else is like, you know what? We could skip this door. Loki's like, I'm opening the door. <laughs> I would like to step back. Sure. Like, I mean, as yeah. much as I can. Uh, and by the way, DM, I can't insane. move my token. Oh. Like, my tablet doesn't let me do it. I think it's not oh, in no. the settings. I just can't. So it would be nice if you could do that for me. I Thank absolutely you. can. Um, oh, hang on, hang on. Just drag it with the other tokens. Sure. You know, uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, no worries, no worries. So, uh, where you are currently, is that okay? What do you want to... Yeah, okay. Um, so, Loki nice. uh, creaks the door open. Uh, and are you stepping in? Body shields. Mm, yeah, I'll step in. Okay. When Loki it's steps happened. into this room, um, this flooded room was once a cellar, with the collapsed eastern passage marking a staircase... That, formerly, perhaps re led up to a residence in the city. Unfortunately, as Loki steps into the room, hidden under the murky water are four human animated skeletons. Rise up and attack you. Hello, skeleton. Uh. 
Ah, shit. Here we go again. <laughs> was that an intentional Grand Theft Auto reference? <laughs> it was very intentional. Good, 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 good. I'm glad, I'm glad I got it. I, in the words of Captain America, I understood that reference. <laughs> Yeah, so everyone, uh, uh, click on your tokens, uh, roll me, roll me some initiative, I'll do... Roll. It looks like these boys, uh, are back in town, and they want to, uh, ask you a question with some sharp bladed objects, Loki. Uh, you blades. Uh-huh. Uh, the good news is, they don't surprise you. Um, they're very, they're very slow and creaky and just sort of rising slowly and ominously out of the water. Uh, you can see these, uh, well, I'm sure. I'm almost certain that you all know what a skeleton looks like, but, uh, there you go. <laughs> Skelly boy. Um, so, uh, Ashen's at the top. Uh, Ashen's like, I, I thought we were getting out of here. Hey, man, you never know if there's a quicker exit. True. Mm. Mm. Which that looks like there was a quicker exit in here. There was. It, not anymore, though. Uh, but there was. <laughs> uh, so Ashen's going to go to here and uh, fling a hand out and throw a firebolt at one of the skeletons. And miss. <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> Cursing in Inferno. Um, Vincent. At this bit again. That is a hit. And uh, 13 damage, I'm pretty sure is enough to just explode a skeleton. Um, which skeleton were you shooting at? Oh, one in front of me. That one? Yes. Sure. The, okay. the one... The only one I can see. Oh, can you not see the one around the corner? Okay, that's fair enough. Um, so, uh, yeah, you, you step in there, uh, you aim, you fire, and Loki, uh, you ducked for... Well, you, you didn't need to duck for the firebolt, you don't need to duck for the bullet either, because you're three feet tall. Uh, the bullet zings over your head, hits the skeleton in the skull, and explodes its skull. Uh, it collapses back down into a into a pile of bones like a Stalfoss. Uh, anything else, Vincent? Very dangerous bone stick. It is R. It indeed is. Creaking sounds from the skeletons. Auros is like, if, if we're done congratulating each other. Anything else, Vincent? Oh, no, I, I said that, that is R. Oh, I I think uh, you'll have to bear with me today, guys. I think my my Discord ping's reasonably high, so you might get cut off. I think uh, a little bit. So if I if I seem like I haven't heard you, it isn't because I'm ignoring you. It's probably because I haven't actually heard you. Uh, sorry about that. Hopefully it'll get better. Must be those damn sharks attacking land land cable. We need yeah. to see. Yeah. Uh, well, I mean, I'm I'm not I'm not even using that. I'm using. Uh, some, some, something's attacked the satellite um, that's beaming 5G to my cell tower, clearly. <laughs> um, okay, uh, Alros is gonna also uh, look at look at Loki and um, Loki. There's a there's a smile on Alros's face. You're you're not sure what the smile means, uh, but you can go ahead and roll me an insight check if you want to. Yes. Oh. Oh no. <laughs> Turned. No, uh, this is among us. Yeah, he, he, he betrays you. Yeah, he's, he's like he was he he was the imposter all along. No, 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 no. Um, uh, he's smiling, uh, Panda, because Ash, because um, you're tanking. He's not tanking for once. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have to run at things anymore. Yeah, that's literally. Literally what's going through his head. Um, so he's going to uh, raise his sword uh, and utter a quick prayer to Torm. 
uh, and a sacred flame uh, flashes down towards the skeleton to your right. Um, which will... Uh, because whenever I use Sacred Flame, it never works. Uh, he will, he will, uh, which, which will dodge it adroitly and take no damage whatsoever. God, <laughs> God damn Sacred Flame! Oh, I hate that cantrip. I don't know why. One of the hardest it. spells to actually pull off. Yeah. And when it's pulled off, it's always terrible damage. Yep. So groaning as he does so, he's going to move five, ten, fifteen, twenty. Assuming, assuming you're okay with him moving in, Loki. Uh, yeah, so he'll join he'll come, me. Yeah, okay, he'll come join you, hefting his shield and sighing. Um, uh, so Elizabeth, uh, you're you're a little further further away. You can sort of hear the sounds of combat, but I I don't know if you can see any of the skeletons currently. Uh, I'll just uh, walk right to the corner uh, next to the door frame and uh, look into the room. Sure. Uh, I yeah, think I can get like a peek at that one. Yeah, you you can you can see like the edge of that one. I will have I it'll have cover. Attack it, but you can attack it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'll throw a dagger at him and try to like just aim for his skull. Sure. Um, you got sneak attack if you hit. 20. Hey, which even with crit, uh, okay. even even with uh, cover, you do hit. Um, yeah, so you, the, your, your dagger hits it pommel first, but as it happens, that happens to be better against the skeletons. Um, like a crack appears uh, along its skull, it sort of recoils backwards, but um, uh, with like a dry bone sound. Um, but it, uh, it doesn't die, unfortunately. It's damaged, but not destroyed. Okay. Uh, do you want to throw another dagger? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, unfortunately, <laughs> that will miss because of the cover. Yeah. Uh, it will bounce off the door frame. Yeah. I'll just uh, stay behind the corner. Sure. I'll wait. Uh, Lucky. All right. And I just started swinging. <laughs> so anyway, I started swinging. <laughs> Best attack. But but are you singing in drunken Asgardian while you while 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 you stab these things? That's that's the real. Question. <laughs> uh, I believe it's a uh, Sylvan. Oh or... yes, right, not Asgardian. Winky face. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Winky face. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So that that will hit the one behind you. Yep. And destroy uh... it. Even without the, the giant. giant's might. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. Uh, it, seven damage with with the nine damage that uh, Elizabeth has already done to it. Seven damage is enough to finish it off. Uh, so once it again, you sort of sweep its head from its shoulders, destroying its spine with a slash. La 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 <laughs> la. <laughs> and uh, bonus action because I have uh, what is it? Two weapon fighting. Hey, nice. Let's uh, get the second one, and uh, yeah, yeah, that, 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 that's cool. that that'll hit, that'll hit. Um, and again, you you break some of the ribs of this skeleton, but don't quite kill it. Uh, anything? Else? All right, the skelly boys, the skelly boys. Uh, one of them attacks uh, Loki, and one of them moves to here, um, without provoking, to attack Alros. Um, so, uh, Loki. Sorry. Does an 8 uh, hit you? And within 30 feet of you, you can use a reaction. Oh. Uh, make a wind and tear and I'm excited. I think an 8 might hit him, guys. No. <laughs> <laughs> um, you want to use a reaction? Would. Would. Mm -hmm. Loki, no. Probably mm. not. So yeah, I'll try using this reaction anyway. I mean, you can roll a religion uh, check if you want to know about skeletons. Let's go with that. Nope. Nope. Uh, they don't have skeletons in the fate wide. Well, I mean, they do, but they dance and sing and uh, collapse. Yeah, that's but it. They, they don't fight people. They're friendly. Yeah. <laughs> Usually, they don't have to kill. Them. Yeah. Usually. No. Normally, they're very. Normally, they're very happy to party with you. 
It's, it's, this is very so weird. reaction, invoking my stone ruin. Mm -hmm. Um, when a creature you see, well, at the end of the th skeleton that walked past me, turn, uh, ends its turn within thirty feet of you. You can use a reaction to invoke the ruin, forcing the creature to make a wisdom saving throw. Okay. Unless it succeeds, the creature is charmed by you for a minute. I don't know if they have... I think they're resistant to charm, though, so... I mean, uh, to jump. They're undead. Yeah, I feel like that might be the case. Uh, fine. I mean, the, it doesn't specifically have immunity to charm. Um, but I feel like there's a thing... Hang on. Charm person. Uh, it targets a creature, right? Not not a uh, not a humanoid. Yeah, just a creature. And, uh, creatures. Undead and beings immune to charm. Yeah, so I I believe um I believe unless your ability explicitly explicitly excludes undead, that unless undead have immunity to being charmed. Unless the specific undead has immunity to being charmed, they're not immune to it. Um, so uh, this one, skele skeletons, interestingly, aren't. Um, so uh, yeah, I I think it's more the way I tend to handle mind affecting and enchantments on undead is is less that they actually like feel anything and more that you just force them to pretend like um, they're they're charmed. You're, you're sort of controlling them in a subtler way. Um, but yeah, so we're, yeah. I'm pretty sure a four fails. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Um, while charmed in this way, the creature has speed of zero and is incapacitated. Uh, descending into a dreamy stupor, the creature repeats the saving throw at the end of each of its turns. Sure. Ending okay. the effect on excess once. Uh, you can't do this yet. Yeah, okay, that's okay. fine. So w which one were you using the reaction on? The one that is attacking, well, just attacked, um, the other, the Ken. Aros. <laughs> yeah, okay. Aros. Uh, right. That's fine. Uh, did, did you use it before it moved, or did you use it after it moved? Uh, well, once it finishes its turn, it has to make the saving throw. Ah, I see. At the end of its turn. Okay, so, yeah, uh, so it does, so that, that eight was against you, um, and misses. Um, but this yep. one obviously gets its attack against Aros, and then at the end of the turn, it fails its saving throw. Uh, but Aros takes the strike on the shield, and then, yeah, it sort of descends into this dreamy stupor. Its arms sort of hanging by its side, this sort of s twisting green light uh, sort of uh, crowning it like a c corona around its head. Um, and, yeah, you think you affected it. Beautiful. Uh, top of the round, uh, Ashen takes a step to here and throws another fireball. That one hits. Uh, even with cover. And, uh, oh. Uh, what? Does anything happen if someone attacks it? No, it doesn't say if oh. anyone attacks it. Wow, cool. Only ending the effect on a success. That's all it says. Nice. At the end of its turn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, okay, sure. Um, so, Ashen blasts it while it's d very distracted. Um, and it takes seven points of fire. Uh, Vincent. Uh, Henry, can you hear us? Yeah, ah, uh, right. So, any, I start blasting <laughs> that one. <laughs> oh, the Danny DeVito references today. Um, let's just say, <laughs> uh, Corona, Corona, Corona. Uh, just, just test, test that theory. Okay. Relation. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! <laughs> uh, with a 13, uh, you hit it and destroy it uh, with another shot to the head. Okay. And it will be all. Alright. Auros, muttering about how Sacred Flame never works for him, uh, moves up next <laughs> to Loki, nods to Loki, like, thanks for charming that one. And uh, we'll swing a booming blade um, at uh, this. Uh... Oh my God, Ken! 
Ken, why? Why, Ken? Why you do this? And miss. <laughs> oh well. Booming he, blade stays in effect still though. I think it he holds on his blade. Uh. I... Until the melee attack is performed, it says. Uh... Dispel description. Uh, yeah. yeah. Maybe. Uh, blah 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 blah. You brandish the weapon. Use the spellcasting. Make a melee attack with it. On a hit, they suffer the normal effects of the booming blade. Yeah, it only lasts a round, but he can always do it again. Oh. It's it's not a problem. Um, yeah, like if he actually hits with it, then it gets sheathed in booming energy until the start of his next turn. Um, but uh, he missed, so alas. Um, Elizabeth. I think I have to get a little bit closer yeah, to you, the party. Yeah. yeah. Uh, do I'll you want to go in the room? Step into the doorway. Yes. Okay, yeah, I will step into the room sure. because I don't see it from there. And I will throw a dagger in the face of that skeleton. Could I try to uh, hit it with the shaft again? Yeah. Uh, oh, oh, so if you, if you specifically want to do bludgeoning damage? Uh, you can try with disadvantage yeah. on the attack roll. Um, the good news is, uh, Loki is three feet tall, and as such is not granting the skeleton cover. <laughs> I'll, I'll try it with disadvantage, yeah. Sure, okay. So if you hit with disadvantage, it'll do bludgeoning damage instead of uh, pissing damage. Oh. Which the skeletons are vulnerable to. Oof. Well, <laughs> I mean, on the plus side, the seven wouldn't have hit either. <laughs> do you want to throw another one? Yeah, I'll, I'll throw another one with this advantage, yeah. Ooh. I mean, again... I guess I hit Loki's head. Yeah, uh, lo <laughs> lo lo Loki, your, 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 your horns are made of bone, right? They're, they're, they are horns? Yeah. yeah. So the, yeah. The, 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 the pommel, because you're trying to do bludgeoning damage, the pommel of the dagger bounces off your horn. Hey, whoa, watch the horns! <laughs> ah. Very sorry. Yeah, and I'll just stay there and get ready to throw more. <laughs> yeah, just like produce more daggers. Uh, good, good yeah, road. just kind of pull the ones out of the other one. Just absolutely. It's like down the floor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. absolutely. Re regular Logan Nine Fingers, you are with uh, so many deck. <laughs> uh, all right, uh, Lucky, finish it. The wing. I, I said finish it, not miss. Come on, man. Uh, bonus action swing. <laughs> bonus action swing. Oh my oh god! My god. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> oh, that's skeleton. <laughs> I swear you hit the death's head cultist more than this. Um, yeah, so they they both miss unless you can ch change those results somehow. Nope. All right. Well, good news for you, sir, is you swung it at last, and it's a dumbass skeleton. So. Well, it can't hit either, so that's okay. <laughs> uh, Ashen, sighing and huffing, moves into the room, flings his hand out, and... It's... Yay! And... Kills it. <laughs> he just 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 walks into the room like sort of uh uh like ruffling his robes like he's obi-wan kenobi and just flings a hand at it uh, which sends this fireball out and just explodes it oh that was fun <laughs> aros yeah. uh no th sighs. this is not a fucking exist <laughs> It is okay. another dead end. Damn it. <laughs> well, it looked like an exit. I mean, he's got Probably us was. there. It did look like an exit. If, if I was guarding, if I was, so Ken, Ken, Aros is being super sarcastic when he says this. If I was an evil cultist, I would uh, definitely flood and barricade my exit with uh, undead skeletons. So uh, can't fault Loki. This is, this is exactly where I would uh, be looking for an exit. Let's just get back. Hey, you don't have to carry these fucking copper coins, man. <laughs> I will take... By the way, I will take all the heads of the skeletons. Sure. Oh, so unfortunately... The skulls? Unfortunately, for collecting the skulls of the skeletons, y you've destroyed all of them. 
each each one of them was each one of them was either hit in the head or was destroyed by firebolt which is just kind of incinerated them unfortunately uh with, with, with regards to exit though vincent um henry you might not remember but there's a secret door down here uh that you guys came through in the first place so that, yeah. Uh, yeah. I assume that was where you were heading. <laughs> um, yeah. So assuming you do head back, of course. Through, assuming you do head back through the secret door um, to the room that you left Vendetta Crescent, uh, I can just move you there if you guys want to. Yep. Cool. Okay. So, you eat. Uh, hoop. 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 What the hell? Well, yeah. So. <laughs> Uh, as you guys get into this room, you see a surprising sight. Vendetta is standing over, looking nervous, but slightly excited as well. The incumbent body of Mortlock Van Thamper. He doesn't look like he's dead, but he has this really big bruise on the back of his head, and Vendetta is holding the chair that was left in the room. <laughs> Like she's hit him over the head with it. <laughs> oh, fuck you. Yeah. Um, and there are the chests that he was carrying are, are, are next to him. She uh, she smiles at you all nervously and says, uh, uh, "I mean, he 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 was running away with the treasure." And... Great job. Great job. <laughs> Great job. How was the wine? Did you finish the whole bottle? She she smiles and says, uh, oh, "No, I I left half for you." Ah, that's so nice. I don't know badass. who you are. But you're a badass. Ah, uh, uh, she. Uh, so her her uh, uh, grayish green skin blushes slightly, uh, a, a deeper green. Oh well. He was running away with the treasure, so I thought I'd just hit him over the. <laughs> I mean, that's a, uh, yeah, that's a sound judgment right there. Uh, yeah, so, uh, when, when you go over to him, Vincent, um, he, he seems to be out cold. Um, it's less that she did enough damage to knock him out, and more that, um, he'd, he'd already taken several very painful wounds, uh, from the Death's Head cultist. So, uh, when, uh, Vendetta hit him over the head, he just, he, he'd run, he was carrying two chests, running away, got hit over the head, he just ran out of energy. So uh, he he's currently unconscious. You don't know how long he'll be unconscious. Um, I uh, I don't know what you want to do with him, but yeah, he's he's there, and there are also, as I said, two other chests uh, in the room. Oh, the chests are they locked? Uh, they are. Yes, they're padlocked. Either we open open them and get the content, or we convince him to carry it for us. Uh, uh, Al oh, I'm pretty sure I can convince him. Yeah. Alros is uh, kneeling down and pulling out manacles to, to man manacle his hands. Uh, he, he looks up at Elizabeth and Vincent and says, please tell me we're not considering working with him. I mean, why not? Seems he has... Uh... A little bit of a struggle with his family, and uh, might be helpful, you know. They seem to be very much, like, connected to this whole thing. Sure. Not a parties. I mean, how quickly we forget the bit where he left us to die and, and burn in a collapsing sewer. I mean, what do you mean? He was just saving the treasure. And himself. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's a coward, but co coward can have its use. He shrugs. Okay. Well, I'm still gonna manacle him. Yeah, you can, but I expect this way more of a so yeah. godly person like you. I Such mean... a believer. In second <laughs> chances. Even as you're saying it, Elizabeth, like, Alros is, is definitely shaking his head at that. I, 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 I don't think Ken would want to want to kill him outright uh, here. Uh, that, seems, uh, that seems out of character. Ashen, on the other uh, hand, considering what he saw happen to the tieflings, is drawing his dagger like, oh, we're killing him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're not killing him. That won't do much. 
Oh. Here's my scimitar. Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we should ask him a couple of questions first. We are not killing him, Ashen. Ashen looks disappointed. Why would, why would he? Uh, I mean, one less chance of someone coming back with revenge for stealing his loot. I, I mean that, says Ashen, but also he gestures towards Ephanax's body and also like in the general direction of the throne of Baal that you saw like did you not see what he and his ilk have done he was a big tom well he did say he was working with them before and then he got double crossed when you say that Loki Vendetta's eyes widen and she says I, I figured as much which is why I hit him but uh she, she looks like she wants to pick up the chair and hit him a couple more times. <laughs> I ain't stopping her. They were clearly towing him to the death. I don't uh, think he's involved with them in such way. Uh, Ashen looks at you thoughtfully and says, You think he was being framed? Well, he was being butchered. That's for sure. Mm. He looks away. Aros shakes his head, manacles him and says, Look, how about we get him and Vendetta and ourselves and the treasure out of here? And then we... You yeah, know, of course we have to wake him up. <laughs> uh, I'm not going to carry him. Uh, okay. I mean... I think Aros probably looks reluctant. I don't want to use my healing resources on him. I don't think he's worth a prayer. Don't mm. my eyes. How <laughs> can we wake him up then? Slap him. Slap him hard. <laughs> Actually, so normally if you're knocked out to zero, slapping people doesn't work. But in this case, because he's been sort of knocked out by like a story action, slapping him hard might actually wake him up in this case. He's only slightly unconscious. <laughs> because, you know, movie unconsciousness, where you, can be, where you can be knocked out with no additional consequences whatsoever. <laughs> what, what even is brain damage? <laughs> so, yeah, uh, Vincent, are you slapping him around the face? Nope. Okay. Well, if you don't, our Ross does. <laughs> and he wears it. <laughs> um, uh, when he does, uh, Mortlock blinks and goes, Ow. Quit it. Five more minutes. Princess. <laughs> he opens his eyes. Oh, shit. So we survived. Well, as you can see. That's annoying. <laughs> I mean... Wonderful! I'm so glad! So... Uh, uh, uh. Because we interfered, you... You get to escape. Yeah! Do you really think those chests belong to you? Uh, no... I mean, technically they don't belong to us either, but... I'm pretty sure they do. What do you mean? We... You've uh, you've you acquired them by the the rule of um, the ancient law. Do you know the ancient law? I know it's war. Uh, kill a person and take your shit. But possession is nine tenths of it. Yeah. The other one tenth is having having weapons to present prevent other people from possessing it. All right. Well, um, pff, he kicks the chests. I don't think I could stop you taking them. So uh, sure. In our defense, the, the flaming fist approved us to, well, <laughs> take, take take their shit. Yep, yeah, the, the the flaming fist doesn't give a shit about what you were. Like, uh, honestly, genuinely, you could probably rob some people, and as long as you actually justify it, the flaming fist would probably be okay with it. They, they're, uh, they're thugs. <laughs> they are paid thugs. To protect people theoretically, but they're thugs. They they don't. Yeah. 
Um, but yeah, so Mortlock uh, uh, looks up at that and says, Ah, you're with the fist. He hired us, to be precise. Well, that is interesting. Because my family are doing all of this. He gestures with his manacled hands at, like, all this to uh, convince the uh, city that the Flaming Fist can't do its job. I mean, most of people do know that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we don't have to do much, I don't think. Uh, but yeah, yeah, my, uh, my erstwhile family are paying these cultists to murder people, kidnap people, and do whatever they do anyway, uh, to prove that the Flaming Fist can't do its job, and, uh, once the, uh, the city stops paying them, Flaming Fist will have much less of a reason to stay in Baldur's Gate, rather than go back to Am or their other holdings, and, uh, no doubt... My mother has some grand plan on becoming the uh, the city's next Grand Duke now that the uh, the Duke has uh, mysteriously disappeared. He says very sarcastic. Do you know anything about that? I... He closes his mouth. Narrows his eyes. What are you going to do with me? I don't see any reason to kill. I mean, I can just l let you go if you if you cast if you answered my question honestly. Aros looks a bit sort of like, huh? Well, we're letting him go, sort of thing. At you, he doesn't say anything. He just looks at you. Ashen, like, and what looks... are we going to do? Are are we going to hand him over to Flaming Fist? I'm not helping you if you hand me over to those savages. Yeah, and and what are they going to do to him? I mean, I don't think he has a bounty on him. Auros. And he's not dead. Auros what should I say? looks away. Ashen says they'll hang him. Good. But Vincent, you're... you're... I don't think yeah, yeah, I don't think they will hang him for good, any kind of good reason. They won't hang me. If you give, if you give me, to it's them. not. Go ahead. It's not our business, right? We're here to kill cultists, so. I just gotta say, you guys are messed, mixed up in some messed up shit. <laughs> Uh, yeah, and you're in it too now. Enjoy. Well, nope. all right. At least it's entertaining. How about this? I tell you all I know. I've got no love for my mother or my brothers. They've tried to kill me. I tell you all I know. You, I give you this treasure, and you let me go. On like one that. condition. You keep carrying the chest out. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, that that Sure. I mean <laughs> We are tired. <laughs> All right. Don't tell him that. Now he's gonna try and hit us. Yeah, it's true. No, I I require payment now. He grins. Oh, so you're 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 viable though. That's good to know. Looks at uh, Elizabeth. Have you ever met a person who doesn't have a price? Hey, mine's a bottle of no. sake. <laughs> Jeep. He says, pointing it. <laughs> <Low Yeah. key. laughs> I'm laughing. So, do you, do you know who, you know who I am, right? Most people do. Very big man. Yes. I don't, I don't think he... Very knows. big man with famous yeah. parents. Yes, he does finger guns at Loki and then finger guns at Elizabeth. <laughs> Again, with the, the manacles on. 
I'm... As far as I know, you're you're a pit fighter and mm. some some kind of handyman, uh, right? Yeah, 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 I mean, I, I I do odd jobs here and there. Aros mutters odd jobs, including murdering people. I say, yeah, 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 odd jobs, including murdering. Maybe people. we just murdered. Honestly, I don't care who you are. I only just got here. I don't know where the fuck I am. Oh. Welcome. All I care about Welcome. is that I'm being entertained. Welcome to Baldur's Gate. I presume those idiots in the fist kidnapped you because you look vaguely like a tiefling? Yeah. But you're clearly not well, a tiefling. Not least tiefling suddenly grew hooves. Vendetta smirks and says, Well, I mean, I could introduce you to a few people. Sorry, carry on. Hey. Some of them do have hoops. Interesting. I try not to deal with devils. That is a wise policy. Unlike my mother. Although, uh, and I turn to uh, oh, are you saying the, the female. I'd like to deal with you sometimes. <laughs> Vendetta picks up the chair. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I like Fizzy. She raises the chair. <laughs> <laughs> I'm saying your eyes. your sweet sweet, sweet her, little one. <laughs> my mother, my brothers, conspired to kill me. They have betrayed me. Uh, if you haven't come along, those bar lights would have murdered me. My family, as I said is paying these cultists to kill people, to murder people for their rights. If we can remove the Flaming Fist from the city, if my mother can remove the Flaming Fist from the city, there will be nothing stopping that my mother becoming the city's next Grand Duke, and if she gets her way, Baldur's Gate will share Elteral's fate. Oh, that, that is some serious accusation. How do you know all of that. My mother's told me. Oh, she she just told you. Yeah. Right. We're family. <laughs> he knows like, like this we're going to have to go normal. kill someone. Well, I mean, no. it depends. Have you ever been to the Nine Hells? Why would we? If you don't do anything about it, you will be. Is it as bad as a day in the Sealy Court? Yes. Well, Worse, sounds like hell to me. Huh. Nine of them, actually. But yeah, so my mother's one of the three remaining members of the Council of Four. Uh, she was instrumental in convincing Older, Ravenguard, the Grand Duke, to go to Elturel and meet with Thavius Krieg, its High Overseer, uh, which was a deliberate ploy on her part to... Uh, make uh, the Flaming Fist leaderless and the city leaderless as well. Um, but, uh, yeah. Uh, you've pretty much broken up this cult. Like, you've, you've killed all their leaders, so I'm, I'm reasonably certain you've basically ended them as a threat. But uh, my city, my, 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 sorry, my city, my mother plans to uh, accelerate her progress, take over the city, and then give it as a literal sacrifice to the powers that have let her get where she wants in life in exchange for probably eternal power, immortality. You know, the usual things that you get from devils. You're all going to be sacrificed okay. to it. That sounds a little bit far-fetched. Yeah, I know, right? It's so far-fetched that it's actually the truth. Sounds political. Mm. Yeah, Elizabeth is like rolling her eyes. Ah. I should have not come here. Do you know anything about Eltrell's disappearance? Yes. How did that happen? I don't know how it exactly happened. I'm a pit fighter, not a mage. But I know what happened to it. 
it was taken to hell. The whole city. And how, how the city, uh, or city can, can be taken to hell? I mean, your guess is Magic. as good as mine. But uh, he nods towards Elizabeth, grinning. Yeah. Evil magic. I mean, if the hell can do that, then why why didn't they try try a long long time before? He frowns and shrugs. I don't know. Planner shifting on a scale like that. I mean, there's many planers. And shifting a whole city wouldn't be easy. He nods. I imagine that my mother will have had to have engineered a situation that was um, favorable. Specifically favorable to allow it to happen. Or there's something rotten at the heart of Elturel that allowed her and her allies to do this. But again, I don't know the specifics. My mother has told me what she plans to do because she's an egotist and she's family. She hasn't told me how she's going to do it because I am a dumbass pit fighter. I kill people for money. I'm not a mage and she had no reason to talk to me about it. You can believe me or not, but uh, I don't know how she's going to do it. I think the only way you'd find out how she's going to do it is if you asked her yourself. Or you could flee the city, but I'm not actually sure if you get out of the blast radius in time. Mm, I don't know. So do you. Sorry, Sega? And so do you. Oh, I'm planning on leaving by ship. Ha! <laughs> well, that sort of stinks. You could come with me if you want to do. I could use some uh, smart, competent hired help. <laughs> oh yeah, I <laughs> believe you need people to think for you, but no, thank you. Out of the game, that will is isn't that ruining the campaign? <laughs> uh, it would turn into a completely different game if you just decided to become Mortlock's buddies. Yep. <laughs> I mean, I'd roll with it if you did, but uh, it doesn't seem a very enticing offer. <laughs> Our, our is, yeah, our, our is definitely like shaking his head, like, no. <laughs> like the open water, no thank you. Yeah. Ashen. Also, I think it uh, will benefit us greatly, uh, bringing light into this uh, whole um, drama with your family and maybe telling some people about it. Might come to our benefit in the end. Mortlock nods. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I imagine there are a bunch of people in the city that would like to know this. Um, but uh, he grins an, uh, an uncomfortably mean grin at you, Elizabeth. I imagine they're going to tell you to do something about it, though. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they will. Mm. But uh, yeah, I'm sure your superiors in the Flaming Fist will be... Uh, you guys get medals? Accolades? I don't know. I'm sure you'll get something meaningless and tin. Don't ask me, man. Unless we make it very public. <laughs> what luck laughs? <laughs> ah, oh, sorry. Uh, you you were joking, right? Not exactly gonna stop the issue if we make it public, it'll just cause unrest. Oh, I thought you said republic. I thought you were suggesting some sort of regime change. Yeah, I mean... <laughs> well, that would be a joke. Yeah, yeah. You could make it public. If you want mass panic, people fleeing the city in droves, trampling stampedes, things on fire, you know, that sort of thing. Which also, we don't know what type of magic they're using, and if it goes off suffering... That's a lot of magic. Mm. Yeah. I don't think they can just do it right away. Besides, if we serve it when it gets public, 
will be a very influential. I mean, we could just go tell your uh, friendos in the fisty thingy and, uh, you know, maybe go deal with his mother. Yeah. That would, uh, so, I don't know. Uh, if you want, off, so maybe we should bring this above the fist. I don't. I don't trust them at all. Oh, they're, no, they're you just, shouldn't. I'm, yeah. I'm looking. <clears throat> I'm looking at an imaginary pocket watch and going like, like yeah. lunch with the fists and dinner with with temper, I guess. <laughs> uh, Mortlock grins at that and then says, "Yeah, well, I mean, if you want my advice." And I want to give you my advice on how to kill them, because I they tried to murder me. The person you should target is Amrik. Amrik, my brother, uh, runs his own money lending business out of a tavern called the Low Lantern. My mother doesn't expect much of me, but she thinks the world of him. He's always been her favorite, and if you want to go up the chain, as it were, to find, well, to, to, to deal with my mother in a way that doesn't involve you all getting dead, then you might need what he knows. Oh, also, yeah. Thirstwell knows about you, almost certainly. He keeps the bathhouse under surveillance. If you came down into the bathhouse, one of his invisible imps will have warned him by now. Just so you know. And quick question about you leaving the city. So you're just yeah. going to run away from your family? Like, mm. no revenge? I mean, I'd oh, I'm like pretty sure you have a day left. They tried to kill you. He looks thoughtful. Uh, Vincent or Elizabeth, one of you, uh, whoever's got the higher modifier, can roll Charisma Persuasion with advantage. Uh, well, I, I don't have any modifier. <laughs> okay, in which case, Elizabeth? I have a two. Alright, with advantage. I'm, I'm better with lying, but uh, I'll take that. Hey! You're not uh, lying. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, okay. So he looks thoughtful and says, mm, Tell you what, if you go after Amric before 24 hours is up, I'll come with you. I'd enjoy the chance to beat the snot out of that little shit. But after that, I'm leaving. Because uh, I don't know about you guys, but uh, I don't want to go to the Hells. And I don't think you've got any chance of stopping it. So. What do you mean? I, I heard th that place is warmer. <laughs> yeah. Perfect for a vacation. Depends on which part you go to, I hear. Oh. Yeah, there's that. Mm. I so. think your, your suggestion sounds reasonable. Yeah, I mean, I'm, 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 I'm uh, offering to uh, come with you to kick the shit out of my brother. What could be more reasonable? That sounds great. All right, he sort of pushes himself to his feet, uh, using his like manacled hands on the wall. You unmanacle me. I'll carry those chests out for you. Where's the key? Alros, <laughs> Alros does, and uh, he, he looks. He looks thoughtful. Sure. But if you try anything, we'll, we'll cut you down. He shrugs. Auros unmanacles him. He picks up the chests, grins at you all and says, Shall we? Give him a nod. Off we go. Okay. So, um, going back through uh, with Vendetta as well. Uh, presume you're avoiding the zombie chamber. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, does yeah. does anyone care to explore the area that you didn't explore? No. <laughs> yeah, I'm holding on to Loki. No. Just no, get I'm us out of here. <laughs> I'll just follow you guys. Okay. Yeah, yeah, Loki. No more. No more opening doors in uh, like cities that you don't know. You know, maybe. <laughs> Um, in which case, I'm actually going to turn the dynamic lighting off because you have almost explored this entire map. 
big place. Uh, and I'm going to move yeah. you across to the bathhouse again. He so. said about an invisible imp. Yeah. Right? Mm-hmm. Which I can sense. Yeah. If you had had the blind scent sight when you were going in, you would have been able to sense it. Blind sight of 60 feet. Mm -hmm. But you, if you recall, you didn't have it when you went down into the bathhouse. Uh, oh, oh. Uh, he, he meant when we came in. Oh, I see. When, like yeah. when, when, you, when you come back up. Yeah. 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 Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Now, 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 you will be able to sense invisible things. Um, okay. So, uh, Mortlock's going up the stairs with the chests. Uh, Vantess is come bring up the rear. Alros, Ashen. I'm just gonna sort of put you guys are outside, but I'm just gonna sort of um, Loki, uh, Loki, Vincent, Elizabeth. Otherwise, actually, it doesn't really matter. Um, moment. Yeah, so I like to put first you, because sure. I I'm not scratched. Sure, even scratched. So when you guys get back up here, um, as you're sort of coming up the stairs out of the secret door, two things: one, the bathhouse smells so much better than the the dungeon of the dead three does. It's uh, really very, very horrible down there, but. Just coming up into the bathhouse, into the into the sunlight, uh, into the the, the clean smelling sort of uh, air. I mean, the city air isn't great, but it's it's considerably better than a sewer. Um, the the change is palpable. Um, the other thing is, uh, Vincent, as you get to the top of the stairs, your blind sight detects the presence of people in the courtyard. Oh, I guess here we go again. There is a bunch of people in in the backyard you said, DM? Yeah, in, in the courtyard like over here. Oh, right ahead of us. I would like to put on my flaming fist badge. Okay. Like on my jacket or something on the outside. Sure. Aros sees you doing that and oh wait, Vincent, wait, because the door's open. So um Oh it's open. Yeah, because yeah, yeah, the, the the doors are open, so and you can tell that. So are are you stepping out into the bathhouse? Yes. Okay. Um Aros would have followed you. Um Mortlock puts the chest down but hasn't gone outside yet. <laughs> um, he's waiting to see what's going on. Uh, Loki, likewise, he's sort of like taking cover in there for the moment. I'm keeping an eye on uh, Alros just in case. Sure. Not the first time they tried to duck out. Sure, yeah, fair. Um, Ashen would have gone with you guys. Uh, let me just move some GM layer tokens. Uh, you've pinned the Flaming Fist badge onto you. Um, uh, yep. Elizabeth, are you also walking out with the others? I'm staying close to a big beefy guy. Sure, big beefy guy. Is taking... yeah. B big beefy guy is taking cover in. Or the maybe room. like in the doorway or something. Sure. Yeah. Okay. Uh, like here. Yeah, just looking out. So when you guys step out, you guys see some lovely, friendly individuals. Uh, okay. Clearly waiting for people. Uh, as you exit the dungeon, leave the bathhouse. Um, uh, as you emerge from the bathhouse, or emerge into the bathhouse, uh, five figures leap down from the top of the courtyard wall to confront you. In addition to their black leather armor, they wear strange masks and cloaks that give each of them a vaguely dragon-like appearance. All five of them are brandishing curved steel blades, reminiscent of dragon claws. Are you the Curtis of Dead Three, mm -hmm. or or from the other one? Uh, we saw one of those masks before, I believe. Yeah, yeah, I remember. Uh, also, uh, Vincent. 
um, you uh, can detect, you can feel the presence of an invisible creature over here. When you uh, when you call that out, um, the hooded figure in the center of them uh, speaks back almost imperiously. No, we don't belong to those insignificant cultists. We are here on behalf of powers that you do not understand or can comprehend to recover the horde that has been stolen from our more erstwhile incompetent colleagues. The treasure that you have that we can sense. Oh my. Give it to us. Now. Hmm. Let me just confirm with my colleague. <laughs> and he turns around. You have until the count of five. Five. He turns around and... Uh, he, he's... When he turned back, he pulled out his revolver and tried to shoot them. Okay. <laughs> can I do that? Uh, you, 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 oh, no. you can give me a deception check to try and like trick them into thinking that you uh, are actually going to confer with them. If so, then you can get. Oh the no, no. Yeah, no. They, 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 <laughs> they see it coming. <laughs> uh, kill them. Doesn't sound good. One final initiative roll for this terrible, terrible place. At least it smells better. It can does... I try to? I mean, obviously they're speaking common, but yes. could I try to inside check and see if I can like hear out the dialect if they're from Baldur's Gate or somewhere else? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You could, yeah. Mm. So, Altis, the, the hooded guy, is speaking with a kind of imperious, like, almost noble accent. Um, yeah. That makes you think he might be related to a patriarch, maybe. Um, the other cultists haven't spoken yet. Um, I will say also, they look like they've been on a long journey. Um, their, their, their leather and hook cloaks and so forth are, like, dirtied. Their boots have, have what look like ash on them. And they seem somewhat tired, uh, as if they've they've come a long way to to be here. Uh, Asha, Loki, Mortlock will roll. We'll see what he does. <laughs> uh, he's not shack He's not shackled anymore. But I presume you guys haven't given him his great club back. Maybe we can open one of the chests for <laughs> joining us. Well, he, see, he did say I... he was joining us, so I say he would keep his weapon. Yeah, since it's gonna help we us. We didn't, the... but I would like to hand him the mace in a bit. Sure. When we start, so. Yeah, that, that will work. Um, okay, then. Or the flail, it was this, like, so weird. Just something he can murder people with, really. <laughs> yeah. And I think it's a masterwork, so he's even better at murder. If Alos is not going to use that silver flare, we should keep Bolok as a... Uh, yeah. uh, That's your devil like killer. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> sure. Uh, so, uh, yeah, uh, Ultis, uh, in, in, in his best cultist fashion, is like, KILL THEM! Um... And uh, the, the, the cultists ah. move forwards. Uh, but Vincent, you might not have been able to uh, get a free shot off, but you are still faster on the draw uh, than everybody else. So, what do you want to do? Hey, Mok, if you fight, we will, I will pay you. Oh, great. All right. He spins and shoot, shoot that one. Which one? Oh. Uh, it, it does not matter. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're right. It doesn't. Um, uh, the bullet zings between That's two right. of them and th sort of thuds into the wall. Um, also, uh, something else you realize, Vincent, uh, as this comes to blows, uh, you 
feel the invisible presence moving and leaving the scene. Oh, shit. Uh, Mortlock grins. Uh, yeah, so uh, you, you feel something fly away from like over here, over the wall. Uh, Mortlock grins, looks at Elizabeth and says, uh, so uh, what do I get to murder people with? Sticking a hand out. Yeah, I'll just step aside a bit and let him pass and like hold out the flare for him to take because I guess it's like somewhere on my belt or something. Sure. He grabs it, grins still, uh, and then roars. Um, running out into the courtyard. Uh, yep. And just diving into a mob of them. He's, he's dashing. Uh, but uh, yeah, he. Sw swinging the flail around um, with uh, abandon. Uh, just uh, programming something. DA, right. So you're doing Apple 6, so it's plus 7 because it's masterwork. On target. Okay. Uh, Loki, what are you doing? I like that guy's style. Let's go have some fun. Uh, let's go a tool. 10, 20, 35, 35. Beautiful. And I'll fire at the main cultist guy with my light crossbow. Sure. <laughs> oh. Boom. Um, checks abilities. Yep, you shoot him in the chest. On the butt. Uh, he reels backwards, but it seems the, the bolt got lodged in his armor. It didn't kill him. Uh, anything I'll get else? you. Um, and then I'll <laughs> bonus action giant smite. Okay. Uh, you become gigantic. Make me big. Uh, also, uh, just so you guys uh, know what these guys look like, um, hooded guy uh, looks like this. And then, uh, cultists. He looks like an emo kid. Yeah. Honest. He went for that extra while with those, uh, skull knee pads. <laughs> he's got an aesthetic and he's sticking to it, alright? <laughs> uh, hmm. Don't actually have a. I actually have a picture of those guys, but um, uh, they, they they look like their tokens. You got this mask, silvered hair, black armor. Uh, but yeah, so uh, you become gigantic. Ashen um, is gonna just I think, throw another fireball uh, again at the same guy that you shot. He was not a study. Wow, he's a goth, man. He's a goth, not an emo. Um, striking uh, the fanatic um, and causing him to shriek as he takes fire damage. And then he'll sort of dive into cover by the side of the door. Uh, yeah, Altis, uh, the cult fanatic, starts shrieking, uh, raises his dagger. Kill them! Kill them now! Um, is he going to do something? <laughs> he is, yeah. He's a screamer. So, as a bonus action, uh, he's going to cast Spiritual Weapon. Uh, does a 17 hit you? 
uh, Loki. Uh, yes. Okay. Uh, a spiritual dagger uh, appears above your head, Loki, and stabs you in the horn for eight points of force damage. God damn horns! What is wrong with you people? <laughs> um, and then uh, as an action, um, he's going to multi-attack. Stepping here. And he's gonna leave Mortlock to his allies. He's gonna try and stab you, uh, Loki. Uh, one and two. Oh, Oof. Shit. Oof. Well, the second one misses at least. Uh, the first one, however, gets you in the leg for seven points of piercing damage. This is rude. <laughs> Uh, the good news is, um, unlike the Barlight cultists, he doesn't have an aura of making you vulnerable to piercing damage. You'll be pleased to know. Fantastic. Uh, Elizabeth. Yes. Um, I would like to move uh, to the corner of the door frame. Sure. Um, and throw my dagger at the cultist in front of Loki. Sure. If that's possible. Yeah, yeah. He's uh, big enough no, that you can I'm just, just throw through his legs. No problem. Yeah. <laughs> oh, nice. 19. Yeah, that'll hit. And be a sneak attack. Nice. Okay. Penetrates through his armor, uh, sends him reeling backwards with 10 points of damage. Still not dead, though. I would like to um, use my bonus action to give the help action. Cool. Uh, for whoever takes on that cultist first in front of Loki. Auros grins at I you. can do that. <laughs> yeah, uh, that's your um... rogue archetype feature, right? <laughs> I'm going to just take cover behind the wall, like step to side a bit. Um, sure. Like there. Mm -hmm. uh, all right. And that's my turn, and I will keep doing that from now on for every turn. And I might have to leave now. And oh, let okay. you play with one more character sheet. I'm so sorry. <laughs> no, it's okay. Um, um, uh, yeah, okay. Well, um, uh have a good week and we will hopefully Thanks. see you next week yes, uh, yeah stay safe have successful uh, encounter <laughs> <laughs> okay so uh yeah see you again uh Aros charges forwards uh into this group and uh swings at altus with advantage Peace. Oh my god, well he's got advantage. Come on. Oh come on! <laughs> <laughs> I can't! I can't! What is wrong with oh. Alos attack? These dice is... are awful. I I don't understand. He's he's a fucking cursed. Okay, well um uh the cultists. Uh, one of them moves to attack Loki, uh, one of them moves to attack Auros, um, uh, actually two of them move to attack Cult- uh, uh, two of them move to attack Loki, um, two of them move to attack Mortlock, because uh, Auros just fucking missed. Um, so, <laughs> oh my god, uh. amazing. Just, just si simply stupendous. Uh, okay, so they don't have pack tactics or anything, so these are just normal attacks. Uh -huh. Uh, Loki. This is gonna hurt. One, two. Oh, sorry. Uh, whispered. Uh, 21 and a natural one to hit. Uh, 21 hits. Okay. Um, you take another two points of slashing damage from one of the scimitars. Wait. And then the other two go for Mortlock. One, two. And he fends them off with his skull flail. They can't even get in reach of him. Uh, okay. Uh, top of the round, Vincent. Can I run out from this 
window. Yeah, you can you can jump through the window if you want to. You'll have to break it, but you can. Sure. Yeah, so you crash, so where is that crash through the window. Um, the being that you're referring to uh, is currently outside of your blind sight. You don't know where it's gone. Fuck. They're very fast and nippy. He, he run there and shoot the one in front of him. Sure, do it. Did you attack um, Mortlock or oh, the other guy? Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's the six in the eleven. It, it is fucking eleven. Uh, yeah. I don't even the cultists. I don't think that hits them. That that just misses. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> like, they have a terrible AC, but it's not that bad. Um, they they uh, more by luck than judgment. The bullet just goes wide and uh, zings off a statuary. Uh, Mortlock roars, makes a multi attack. Swinging the flail around. Oh my god. Okay, so he misses with one of them as well. Uh, but he hits with one of them, so he crushes one of the cultists. Uh, with the flail. Roaring and having the time of his life. Ah, uh, he's not moving anyway. Uh, Loki. Alright. Um. Wing my scimitar. The boss man. Do it. Uh, that hits the boss man. Beautiful. Nice. Eight damage. Uh, leaves him on one hit point. Motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> um, and I will use my second win. Okay. Get that. Get those so hit points. One D. 1d10 mm -hmm. plus your fighter level. Nice! Yes. 13 back. Uh, you know those wounds, they weren't so bad. <laughs> <laughs> ah! Yeah. Uh, you moving anywhere? Guessing not. Uh, I will stay put and keep taking the brunts. Alright. Uh, Ashen. Ducks around the corner. Throws a firebolt at one of the cultists. Actually, hmm... I don't want to kill Steel, but it feels like you should shoot Altus. You want me to shoot Altus? Yeah. Go for it. Yeah. Go for the boss. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so he, uh, it doesn't do much damage, but he hits him in the face with it. Uh, Altus screams in pain as his head is set on fire. Ah! 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 Uh, collapses, burning to death. Nice. Uh, he gets death saves because he's got a name. That's a fail. <laughs> is is that a, is that a requirement for death save? Yes, that's a, that, that, legitimately that is how I do it. Is um, if if they have a name, if they're an important enough character to get death saves, um, then they get death saves. Otherwise, they don't. I don't think any of us think he's important. <laughs> ah, well, I mean, his mother thinks he's important. Who are you to argue with his mother? His 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 superior thinks he's important. It's just prejudice. Uh, Ashen ducks back into cover. <laughs> Elizabeth ducks out of cover. Uh, throws some daggers. Uh, one, two. Oh my god. Misses with yeah. both of them. Curses, ducks back into cover. Uh, she'll. Oh, no, so she only threw one and she'll use her mastermind because that's uh, her mastermind feature because that's what she would do, she said. Um, so she gives Alros advantage on the cultist above you, Loki. He's going to try and murder him with advantage. Come on, man. Hey! Yeah. Go. Uh, doesn't kill him, though. Damn it. <laughs> Uh, only wounds though. Although the spiritual weapon is gone at least. Um, cultists. Uh, seeing their leader go down. Um, they're going to each try and futilely murder one of you. Uh, one against Loki. One against Auros. And one against Morlock. Yes. 
Mrs. Auros as well. And Mrs. Mon wow, they're without their leader, they seem to be useless, but fanatical. Vincent. Why don't you be here anyway? And he <laughs> shot one of them. Uh, yes, you do. Uh, which do you want to shoot the wounded one or do you want to shoot one of the unwounded? That one, okay. Uh, you shoot them in the back. Uh, yeah. yeah. Go ahead. That one. They they it don't is... they don't go down. Unfortunately, uh, they look badly wounded. He will pull out his rapier and engage. Cool. You're in melee. You're in melee, sir. Uh, <laughs> are you bonus action two weapon fighting? Oh, uh, can I try? Yeah. Just means you won't get your uh, dex modifier to this strike in terms of damage. Uh, uh, although rapier is not a light weapon. Oh, that's true. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, yeah. Sorry. Yeah. You're right. You're right. Uh, Morlock. Swings the flail around again. Still roaring happily. Oh my god! And misses. And finally hits. Uh, crushing the skull of the one that you just shot, Vincent. Uh, kicking over this statuary and engaging the one uh, to the north of Loki. Uh, Loki. I'm going to attack the one that's already been damaged. Okay. Uh, that'll hit. And that'll kill him. And then I'll turn and bonus action hit the other guy. Do it. Uh, let me just check something up my drones, boy. So, without the gi giants made damage at this time. Uh, yeah, okay, so uh, you slash the one below you for four, uh, knocking the backwards. Beautiful. That's it. All right. Ashen steps out again. Oh, actually, he'll have to... He'll, right, he will run out, throwing another fireball as he does so. Oh! Hey. Well, he hit. Oh, for only one. Okay. <laughs> he, he splashes the cultist with a fire. Firebolt. Uh, Ultis uh, gets another death save. Fails miserably. Oh, I thought that was a 20. Uh, doesn't fail, but doesn't succeed. I well, mean... just, just succeeds. Irrelevant. Um, uh, yeah, whether he succeeds, succeeds or fails, it is not better. <laughs> well, the thing is, if he rolls a 20, um, he can get back up. So that's that's why I roll them. Uh, yeah, still though. Uh, Elizabeth uh, dives into melee, uh, bringing up her rapier and missing. Uh, but she'll give uh, Alros uh, advantage to hit the cultist. Alros moves around you guys, attacks the cultist from behind. And hits. Yay. And finally Yay. crashes his sword into his skull and brings him down. Nice. Well, uh, that was something, says Mortlock, grinning. Use me, pretty snake lady. And I'll just sink my blade into the chest of the leader. Yeah. <laughs> he, uh, he dies. All right. With you think he was clinging somehow? No witnesses. Lol. I think most of the party nod along. More luck. Nods like you know, sensible. Well, uh, looks like they uh, worked out that we uh, stole their treasure and uh, killed their uh, killed their cultists. So. And the flail is your payment. Oh, nice. Sure. 
smiles, keeps the flow. So anyway, the the uh, the imp got away. Uh, oh, my brother knows about you definitely. Then he knows you survived. Hey, Mont, look. Hmm. I'm bigger than you. <laughs> he he snorts, like looking amused. But now. As I revert back to my normal size. There you go. <laughs> Start <laughs> counting. Yeah, so, um, at this point, guys, uh, you have completed the Dungeon of the Oof. Dead 3. Uh, <laughs> congratulations. Um, at least according to the internet, uh, this place is considered more dangerous than Death House <laughs> in some ways. So, uh, Very yeah, yeah, I, yeah, there's some pretty, pretty nasty bits in it. Um, so congrats. Uh, that's uh, it's uh, a tricky, a tricky dungeon to beat. That's for sure. Oh. Um, honestly, I wasn't actually expecting Marie to have to go this early today. She she mentioned that she was gonna have to go earlier, but I, I assumed it was gonna be like towards the end of the session. Um, well, yeah. So uh, I think what I pro normally I take a break here. Uh, what I think I'd probably like to propose, uh, if it's okay with you guys, and uh, I can, I can refund you half the session uh, if you want to, uh, or we can just put it towards next session. You can just pay me half uh, for next session. I think I'd actually prefer to probably call it here before we get into the next bit, yeah. and then hopefully. I don't blame you. Yeah. First things first, though. Yeah. Can we get one of them to open the chests? Yes. So they have the keys to the chests. Um, <laughs> Uh, How convenient. Yeah, yeah, it is. Um, so the other two chests, hang on, uh, have some more loot in. Um, the third chest contains a delicate porcelain dragon mask resting on oh. a bed of 2,400 copper pieces and 500 silver pieces. And with the coins inside, the mask weighs 55 pounds. And then chest four, uh, contains a bronze crown with five spires worth 250 gold. Each spire is shaped and painted to resemble one of the five kinds of chromatic dragons. Black, blue, green, red, and white. And that ch chest, weigh the crown weighs 200, uh, sorry, two and a half pounds. Uh, the chest itself weighs 25 pounds. Hey, uh, magic man, any magic in this? year just in case uh ashen shrugs and says i can't cast that anymore i used my last uh my i used my last device to uh, heal arrows fair enough fair enough hmm. well uh i mean oh. those potions we found earlier look magic but uh I don't know about these. I'll pick up the crown and just put it on my head. Fits quite nice. I like it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Though other people might think you're one of the artists. No, I think that's the mask that looks dragony. Maybe we should keep that hidden. Are you sure about that? Yeah, I don't know. I like pretty crown. Nice crown. <laughs> Did you say so? But it, lo uh, it looks like the crown that um, uh, if anyone's, if either of you played Tyranny of Dragons, the uh, the cultist leader wears at the end of Tyranny yeah, of Dragons. Yeah, I was thinking about that. Yeah, I think it's deliberately meant to look like that. But do remember, it it was quite much. Okay, okay, I'll put it in my backpack now. Who knows? Somebody. Oh, we're trying to steal it. Uh, do you want to carry the silver and copper, or do you want me to carry it? <sighs> Normally, I will uh, ask to others, but since you're a street bitter, <laughs> I think I should. Yeah, Al Ross and Mortlock will help you carry the loot. Um, I think Mortlock probably suggests that uh, at least before you do anything else. How about we all repair to a tavern, spend some of this on uh, some drinks, uh, and uh, toast the death of the city. That way you can also... That's, you know, 
rest a little bit. That sounds like a fantastic idea. Before you go confront my brother. First round's on you, because you suggested it. Ha! Sure. <laughs> I, uh, I've got a tab. I like this guy. <laughs> uh, Vendetta will also come with you, just because she doesn't really have anywhere else to go, and she doesn't really want to be alone in the city now that um, people are, uh, you know, kidnapping and murdering people at the moment, apparently. Um, but yeah, so, like I say, I think that's probably where we'll leave it for the moment. Um... Uh, you guys repair to the tavern to plot your next move, to have a rest, to uh, maybe uh, work out what you're going to do with all of this junk, all of this junk inside your trunks, um, and uh, <laughs> other black eyed peas, other black eyed peas references. And then uh, next week we can pick up hopefully with everybody here um, to uh, figure out what your next move is, uh, who you want to tell, what you want to do, what you want to do with this money, and. Uh, if you're going to try and stop the city falling into hell, apparently. Just like that. Just like that. And we are at level 3. Yep. yep. <laughs> we shouldn't do this. <laughs> but you get levels up from it, you know? It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Oh, Let's double one monarchy. Yay! You think we, it, we leveled up? Uh, you are level three currently. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. You, you uh, I, I see. I, I, I actually you, gave you meant yeah. I, you, I, you I, meant we already leveled up. Yeah, I, I, I gave you the level for this place halfway through because yeah. because because people weren't doing so well. Um, you, you would normally get the level at the end, but I was kind of like, yeah, you're gonna die if I don't. So <laughs> we need our abilities, man. Pretty much, pretty much. <laughs> but no, you, you don't you don't level up again yet. Um, yet. But uh, soon, TMCR. Uh, for now, though, guys, uh, thank you for playing. Uh, sorry it's Ooh. shorter than, than normal, but uh, oh. hopefully next week we will be back to uh, normal schedule um, and normal length. And, uh, yeah, have, have a good week, the both of you. Um, Actually, obviously, I'll see you on Wednesday. Um, yes, you will. Uh, Henry, um, I hope uh, you feel better, man. Um, I hope the... Yeah, yeah, I hope too. <laughs> yeah. Uh, let us know. Let us know how you're going and uh, stay safe otherwise. And uh, yeah, I'll see you both again. Stay okay. safe, Morad. See you next week.